Hello everyone and welcome back to Alex Elliott Golf. Today we're going to talk about start line and for me start line is something that's quite a lot overlooked by a lot of amateur players. A lot of amateur players as big shots off to the right so big slices or big hooks off to the left are predominantly close to one a bad swing but also this interpretation of what their start line is. So we're going to place and we're going to talk through a simple drill of how we can straighten up that start line and make sure we can hit straighter and longer shots and we're going to talk about that in a second. Because I'm, I'm a strong believer in negative feedback and what I mean by this is that if we place an obstacle or place a target right in front of us I feel that if we move our body correctly we can actually make big changes in our swing very easily and if we don't make those changes we can easily see for negative feedback if we have or haven't made those changes so that's the reason for really placing these down the ground it gives us an objective and a target of how we're going to make a more effective swing straight starting line and a straighter ball flight. So as you can see, I've placed my ball directly between and traced a line through my goal. So let's talk about start line for a fade, oh, a big slice or a hook to the left. So my large hook off to the left will predominantly start towards my orange. That would be interpretation of where our path is into out. And if I'm talking about a large slice, it would predominantly start towards my red on the left hand side that would be encouraged for a big out to in path so for example my path that is very much this way would encourage the hook my path that is very much to the left would encourage that slice off to the right so what i'm trying to say is here if we feel like our path is more neutral we have a better chance of starting it through our goal so the moral of the story here is if we feel like we can start the ball through our goals then our path is more neutral to the golf ball. So this is going to bring our margin for error in, bring our start line more straighter and more consistent, but also produce a straighter shot out on the golf course. So in previous videos, we've talked about why a big hook or a big slice is caused. And I'm trying to trace this back to now start line. So we've said in the past, a large hook with a close face is caused by an into out path, which would represent our bike wheel being this way. A slice, which would start towards the red, would point towards the left with an open face causing our big slices off to the right. So if we're feeling like our path is more neutral with a square of face, we're just going to start our ball more consistently through our goals. So we can do this with driver, we can do this with our irons, and for me, the more we can do with this, the straighter our ball flight will become because we have a better feeling, a better interpretation of where our path is in relation to our start line. And a lot of people do not have that relationship between path and start line. So now I'm going to try and feel that like my path is more neutral to the golf ball in order to produce this shot that goes through these goals. Now, I, I'm a big believer, and I said this, a big believer in negative feedback, and if you place an obstacle in the way of your swing, you will make changes in order to make sure the swing is efficient enough to hit the shot. So all my feeling is here, I've got to do what I've got to do, nice and simple, to make sure this ball starts through my goals. I can't make a big out-to-in path. I can't make a big into-out path. Therefore, I've got to do my best to make sure it's as neutral as I can with the squarest face I can through the shot. Therefore, I've made these changes with just producing a big target in front of me. So my goal is to get it through my goal and produce a more neutral path. So I'm going to align myself to make sure my ball is straight in the middle of my goal. Make a square set up around that. Then I feel like my path is more neutral to produce that straight starting line in relation to my path. And for me, the more we can do this, the more we can practice with hitting that ball through our goal, the more feeling we'll we have is where our path is in relation to our shot. My objective here is just to get it through my goal. So today's video is not only about a tip, but it gives you a lot of focus during your practice. I'm not just stood here making swings with the start line starting right, or then starting left. I'm here focused on where my start line is, and this will help produce a more consistent path through the golf ball because I've got an objective at the end of what I'm doing. Th thank you for watching this week's practice drill and tip on Alex Elliott Golf. If you've not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. All you've got to do is have a Gmail account in order to subscribe to free content on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays. And for all lesson inquiries, I'll leave my email down below in the description for you to send future inquiries. Thank you for watching. See you next time on Alex Elliott Golf.